India's Jammu and Kashmir territory has seen an upsurge in violence this week as security forces neutralized six terrorists in the past 24 hours, while terrorists shot dead a female TV performer and a police officer, officials said on Thursday. This came following the conviction of the region's best-known separatist Yasin Malik in a terror funding case. Malik was sentenced to life in prison on Wednesday. Three terrorists were neutralized on Thursday in an encounter in Kufwara district of India's Jammu and Kashmir after security forces intercepted a group infiltrating from across the border. Police confirmed the slain terrorists were affiliated with Pakistan-based lashkar e taiba or LET outfit. The encounter came within 24 hours after three Pakistani terrorists of jaish e mohammed and a policeman were killed in a gunfight in Baramula district and the region's best-known separatist, Yasin Malik, was sentenced to life in prison by a court in New Delhi in a 2017 terror funding case. On Wednesday evening, Amreen Bhatt, a 35-year-old Kashmiri television and social media performer, was shot dead by L.E.T. terrorists outside her home in Badgam district. Her 10-year-old nephew also received a bullet injury on his arm. <laughs> इतना ही कहा उन्होंने उन लड़कों ने तो फिर से उन्होंने गोली बारी आपको लगता है ये गलत हुआ है दोनों है ना गलत है ना क्या बिगाड़ा था इस मौसम में इसका On Tuesday suspected terrorists also killed a policeman and injured his minor daughter outside their house in Srinagar district More than a dozen people mostly police have been killed in Kashmir valley this year One of the dead was a Kashmiri Hindu government employee worrying the region's tiny minority community Security forces have already stepped up their operations, neutralizing 78 terrorists this year. The upsurge in violence comes as the federal government is also planning Kashmir's biggest annual Hindu pilgrimage to the Amarnath Cave Shrine, starting June 30. Up to 800,000 visitors are expected. 